See, I told you you could do this. Hey, if I can do this, anybody can do this. All right, so I've got these wires situated. This one's gonna be on the right. This one's gonna be on the left. Okay, just put that in your box like that. And I gotta make sure I got enough slack in here. Okay. Push that in. Like that. My screw in there, and now that's flipped up on the back side. Now I just wanna hang on to it like that and screw it in. And that's drawing it up behind there. When I feel this start getting snug, I'm gonna stop right then. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one, and as I screw that, then this one here is sideways. It's sideways here, and it's gonna swing down that way. Okay? And now I feel it tighten up, and now it's drawing in from the back side. You see, that's why we wanted to cut our holes fairly snug to allow this top edge and the bottom edge to catch the sheetrock. Okay, so now I can look at that and I've already lined it up. Now, if you got a little bit of a slop this way, that's okay. At this point, you want to look at that and if you need to move it over to the right a little bit at the bottom, you can move it over, you know, line it up. And that looks pretty good right there. And now I'm just gonna tighten this. And snug it down a little bit. You don't wanna over tighten it. You'll feel definitely that it's starting to get tight, okay? But like I say, if you, if you tighten it up too tight, this um, lip here is gonna start bending because it's only plastic. This starts bending, you know you've got it plenty tight. You just wanna make that snug as a bug in a rug, okay? Now, I gotta work on this one. Okay, so I haven't cut out my, my uh, knockouts yet, you remember? This is gonna go up to the top, this one's gonna go up to the top. Now I could make one top and bottom or whatever, however you wanna do it. I could put both these in the bottom. But see, I don't really want to put these in the bottom. I want to put these up high because I got the bottom, I got the wire coming in at the bottom where I have to keep that. What I like to try to do is not get too many wires bunched up at any one location here. I don't want to, if I brought these in at the bottom, now I got three wires coming out at the bottom, okay? I could still make it work, but um, it's just a little something I do. All right, so at this point, look at this. I've got the two knockouts up here at the top and the one at the bottom left for a nice little power wire coming in. And look at that, this, this one's not very long, you know? I've gotta just deal with it and I'll get it into the box. You remember that it was inside the other box, so we'll get her. Time to put this box in here now. So obviously I gotta start with the long wires here first. And then, as I'm pushing it in there, fish in the bottom, like that. And see, I want enough of this wire pushed out at the back to allow this to go in there, okay? I just wanna kinda move this around a little bit. Make sure my paddle goes in, you know? This paddle, there. Started flopping down there. Okay, so I look at that, hold that there. And to get these screws in, turn to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You ever forget? Same thing at the bottom of this one. And right at, top, right at first, it's a little snug. And then as you're tightening it, you'll definitely feel it tighten up.
Just like to do this with a hand screwdriver. You don't want to tighten those up. You know, with the electric drill or anything like that. This is a feel. It goes by feel. Okay. All right. You just be an electrician. Look at that. Got these in there. Now, I'd say we're about ready to start stripping some wire. What do you think?